Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, February 29th, 2024 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I value and embrace the Piscean energy of floating and flowing. And happy leap year. We have our first leap year since 2020. And this is about my fourth time trying to record this. <laughs> We've had shenanigans over here. Um, but I just want to say, this is the one it's going to take. And, you know, heralding back to 2020 makes us think of what that all was. And I just want to remind us that everything cycles around. And it cycles around so that we can choose an empowered off-ramp that goes in the direction we want to move in. So keep that in mind in your flowing and floating this leap year day. So speaking of flowing and floating, we have the moon in Scorpio today. Moon in Scorpio adding to the water world energy that we already have going on with all the water in Pisces, Saturn in Pisces, Sun in Pisces, Mercury in Pisces, Neptune in Pisces. And that Saturn, Sun, Mercury energy, it's all beginning to distance itself, but it's still pretty close, still working. Um, Recognize this energy is very karmic and working hand in hand with the moon in Scorpio can help foster um, endings, completions, uh, karmic releases. Um, so this is a really powerful time. And, and there's so many interesting layers when it comes to Pisces, but there's a line. Um, it was in... in I dabble. I like to dig in and out of Gene Keys and human design. And I was digging into one of my things and it was talking about the energy of surrender. And there's a line that reminds me of like a Rumi line, like what you seek is seeking you. And it was basically like the divine is seeking you even more so than you're seeking it. So keep that in mind. I think our first job of surrender is willingness and then it moves on to taking the aligned actions. But willingness doesn't need that action, right? Not in, not initially. And so if anything, see where you can show up aligned with willingness in this energy. Willingness for your next soul level steps to come in and come through. And then see where you can follow through, float through on the action. So astro energies today. We have the sun and the moon trine. This could bring up some karmic emotional energies or just even some reluctant, reluctant emotional energies that you haven't wanted to process that need to be felt and dealt with. Truly healing is in the feeling. And so a lot of times we have to go there before we can move on. You know that saying, the only way out is through? This is really true when it comes to us feeling our things. The key is not to get stuck there um, because we can get stuck, you know, in the loop-de-loops. There's always an off-ramp, an off-ramp of healing. Um, but see what you need to face in these energies. What is coming up to you to be felt and dealt with? Uh, we have Mercury in Pisces connecting to Jupiter in Taurus. These are at 11 degrees, that master degree. And so this is a call to recognizing the value of things, whether it's the value of the floating, the value of um, feeling what you need to feel, the value of the ahas, the insight that is potentially coming through for you in this energy. It's also lazy cat. And I swear sometimes we need to lazy cat to let the dust inside settle for the stuff to rise up. So embrace and pay, brace and value the floating of the Piscean energy. Um, moon is also connecting to Saturn today. So like I said, some karmic processing that we're doing. You may have some old stuff come up and you're like, why am I thinking about this? Why am I still having feelings about it? Because you left a little bit of the feelings down under and it needs to come up and be processed. It's okay. You know, allow it to move through. Um, 
We end the evening with the moon and Mars in a connection, the moon and Mars in a square. There may be some frustration energy, some frustration vibes that you also need to feel your way through. So be very aware of that energy possibly coming up as well. So let's look at these cards and then I have such a good uh, roomy card. I have pulled this so many times, the silence card. This is a reminder, get quiet, connect to spirit, um, but it's a reminder too of creating beautiful, bright future and your creation responsibility, your creation, co-creation responsibility with source. We actually have the source card and the nothingness card, which is the hierophant, and it's a reminder of spiritual law. Um, your energy has impact on the world. Keep that in mind. And again, I think this is so important to say over and over and over again. This doesn't mean you can't get sad. It doesn't mean you can't hit your bottoms that you need to hit and you like try to hold on here. That doesn't do it. Part of the experiencing, part of your agreement was to come in here and feel those things as well. That's part of the co-creation. Sometimes we have to feel those bottoms so that we can envision and work to something better and have empathy for others who are experiencing bottoming out because we all do. It's a human thing. Um, but, oh, yes, <laughs> human thing. Hello, Scorpio vibes. That was just Luce. If you heard the hiss, she's got a Scorpio moon. So, yeah, we might feel some of that. Awareness, awareness of these layers, but again, awareness as we peel through the layers, it helps us move forward. Our final card is the receptivity. This goes back to what I was saying about the willingness. Find where you're unwilling and meet yourself there. Um, we all have those places of resistance, right? They're, unwilling is a, another word for that resistance. What are you resisting? What are you afraid of? Again, let these feels bubble up, part of the Scorpio work. Um, and I think the roomy, I'm going to read the little roomy um, healing, honoring ritual after this. So enter the garden of delights, float your way through, trying not to get the reflection. Are you aware that sweetness is found everywhere in town? <clears throat> Are you aware that winter is gone and spring has come around? Are you aware that sweet basil and the carnation are whispering in the garden and laughing about how simply everything is found? Are you aware the nightingale has come back from its flight, singing out messages of love to spread delight with every sound? Everything in the garden is granted the right from the divine court to appear for our delight. Everything is here to make earth green and alive as a haven of our life. What remains buried in the soul will always endeavor to reach out. No one truly alive can ever be pawned to a prison or a tomb. Thank you, Rumi. I'm just going to read this last little oracle part and then the sacred honoring ritual, which neither are very long. This oracle comes to you with a message. A new day is dawning for you. This is a time when the past will very soon cease to have any hold over you. Celebration is imminent. You are invited into the golden light of divine plenty. Put your worries behind you and step into your divine inheritance where all is sorted according to kindness and grace. Because in the end, only kindness matters. My friend and I were talking about that line in a song the other day. And the sacred honoring with ritual. Say aloud, I accept the gift of golden grace and healing now to leave behind all prisons and tombs, conscious and unconscious, of heart and mind. I open up to life and assistance through unconditional love in being present to the miraculous beauty that seeks to live through me, as me, and in benefit to all humanity now. I know myself to be worthy of this grace, to be this grace. So be it. And then place your hands gently on your heart and rest for however long feels good. And when you're finished, you have completed the ritual. And I'll leave that there. So you can book a reading with me. Eclipse Energy is coming in. Uh, email me for that. Um, check out the uh, mushroom powder and the goldie powder. I have it linked below the video that my friend is selling. They are wonderful. And... Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and remember who you are for you are the solution. Namaste.